Is Dash and Lily the next YA romance we need to fall in love with? Let's find out. Everyone, it's Sharana from Pay Your Weight, and today I'm going to be reviewing Dash and Lily, which is currently streaming on Netflix. This series stars Austin Abrams and Midori Francis, as this series is based on the novel Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan, and this series centers around a whirlwind holiday romance that builds as cynical Dash and optimistic optimistic Lily trade dares, desires, and dreams in a notebook that they pass back and forth in all locations all across New York City. So you guys, if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome, so glad you came, I hope you stay. I tell you what I liked about the series, what I didn't like about the series, and is it worth your time binge or not where it's currently streaming on Netflix? Now for anyone that knows me and knows this channel, I am a sucker for some YA romance, YA anything. I don't know what about the teenage um, trials and tribulations that just really brings a smile to my face. It just transports me back in time. But for the things that I did enjoy about Dash and Lily is really, it was just a series that truly puts you into the holiday spirit. Seeing all of the beautiful Christmas decorations, um, seeing ice skating, people who are drinking hot cocoa. I think all of the locations that they visit in New York City, it truly made me feel as though that I had taken a weekend vacation into New York City and took me to all of my favorite little hot spots that I like to um, enjoy and visit while in NYC. And I think for those of you who are having fun FOMO from like really being able to be outside and to really do all of the things that you truly enjoy through the holidays. I think that Dash and Lily is one of those shows that will really help you feel as though that you're escaping into an alternate reality. And so also to Midori Francis, who I was first introduced to in Good Boys, and she was absolutely hilarious in that film. You should check it out. Um, I think that she is such perfect casting for Lily. Um, she's charismatic. She's so fun. She's so likable. You just want to root for her character. Um, and she's a very relatable character, too. I love that with her character, they truly explore these themes of what being different means um, and not trying to get hung up on people not agreeing with you or people not being open to express who you truly are. I think that's some things that a lot of us dealt with growing up, especially being teenagers before we really come into our own or understand that there is life after high school. There are people who will accept me for who I am. And I really love that exploration and how they handle this um, with, um, with Lily's character in the film. I think Austin Abrams is also great as Dash. He's, um, I think he's he's done a really great job of being this like cynical, like unhappy team in certain, in certain films and um, TV shows and other projects that he's been in. Um, but I think that they were a perfect yin and yang to one another, a perfect contrast um, as actors, as they're portraying these characters. And you truly buy into the chemistry between these two, which is a very hard thing to sell in a series where your two main characters don't meet for the majority of, for the majority of the series. They never really come in contact to each other um, with one another until things kind of escalate towards the latter half of the series. And I think that they do such a great job of getting the audience very invested. Like when I say I was invested, I was invested in this relationship, okay? I had to put my friends on hold. I said, guys, I can't answer the phone right now. I can't talk to you. I need to know is, is Dash and Lily, are they going to make it or not? I really needed to know that. And so I think that they do a very great job of convincing you the chemistry between the two, you wanting to root for their relationship. You wanted to root um, building the suspense of, are they gonna meet, are they not gonna meet, are their paths gonna cross, like who's gonna find out first? I just needed to know all of these answers and I do th think they did a very great job of keeping the audience invested in what is happening, especially since we don't get to see the two interact for the majority of the series. But also to Troy Iwato, who plays um, Lily's brother Langston, I really enjoyed his character. I thought that he was so fun to watch on screen. Um, I was invested in what was happening with him. And I'll get into this a little bit later when I get into the cons, so much that I wanted to see even more um, from his character in the series. But I do think they do a very great job of fleshing out uh, Lily's family helping us understand the background that Lily comes from. And I like that they also show different cultural perspectives that are introduced in fun and exciting ways throughout the course of the series as well. I thought it was very well done. But I think also too, I like that it pinpoints, it kind of knocks down this notion of a fairy tale romance. And I think that's one of the things that I love watching about series like this is the fairy tale of it all. But I like that they really take the time to address it like, 
hey, fairy tales exist, but also two fairy tales doesn't mean that that person doesn't come without flaws. And I thought that was a very interesting thing to introduce into YA um, because look, adults out here, we know that your soulmate, they got some problems too, just like you have problems as well. And I'm happy that they're really talking about these things and introducing um, these concepts into romance for younger adults for to really just help prepare them in life. Because honey, if I was getting this, when I was in, in college or if I was in high school, okay, I wouldn't even need therapy. But um, even though I had a lot that I did enjoy about the film, um, about the series, there are some things that I had an issue with and that's really just the portrayal of like the secondary characters. And Boomer is like the biggest travesty of them all because I was so invested in him as Dash's friend um, that I wanted to learn more about him, but he really just serves as a plot device to help Dash along his journey, to help facilitate the will they won't they meet what is going to happen I just thought that there's so much more that they could have done with his character especially as they kind of hint to something happening with his character in the future if the series decides to follow along um, other books I just thought that it was a really um I felt as though there's something that they had the time to explore even though there are they are short episodes it's only eight episodes um for the season they are almost 30 minutes long but Dante Brown I really think that he was great as Broomer I loved him as his best friend I just wanted to see more from him and also too with Lily's brother and there's other characters that they also introduce um in the series and also too I wanted to learn a little bit more about Dash's family dynamic um, because family was so important to Lily and also too family has really shaped who Dash is as a person and his view on life as a whole and especially kind of his view on romance that I really wanted to see them delve a little bit more into that because as some of the things that we find out um, his family relationship has really impacted who he is today and I thought that that's something that they could have explored but overall for me if you want some holiday cheer if you want some YA romance some YA drama this is the show for you it's a very quick binge only eight episodes they're very short episodes and I can't wait to see if they bring more seasons I was just thoroughly impressed excited I had so much fun it truly got me into the holiday spirit and it gave me a new relationship to relationship to ship on tv so those are my thoughts on Dash and Lily. As always, my name is Sharonda from Pair of Weights, and if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I love you guys 3000. And until I see you again.